the... Ow. I heard a noise. It was my farting. Really? No. Why, where's Clone Trooper? <sighs> he got lost in the Beyond section of Bed Bath & Beyond. Well, this is great. How am I supposed to find a bed now? Don't ask me how he got lost in the Beyond section. You just somehow managed to do it. I keep thinking you're saying, going to be saying Beyonce. No, I'm not saying Beyonce. Who's talking about Beyonce? No one. Are you gay or something? No, hey, don't ask, don't tell, man. That got repealed. Damn it! <sighs> Anyways, since he's gone, I guess I'll be filling in for him. Yeah. Until he managed to get out of the Twilight Zone or wherever the hell it is he managed to get himself into. Yeah. I seem to be sinking. That's nice. I gotta sit down. Anyways, yes, I'm sitting down now, too. Welcome to Trailer Predictions, y'all, you pack of Looney Tunes. I'm Darcidious, and I'm really pissed off. That's nice. Anyways, first on the first on the list, what is it? Well, we're not revisiting anything, so we can just jump right in. Good, because I wouldn't know what the hell you were revisiting anyway. Rabbit Hole! <sighs> Trailer pretty much told the whole movie. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's like... It's like... Girl dies. I think it was a boy. Well, whatever. Kid dies. Uh, family family has a sad. Family gets over sad. Family adopts Chinese kid. I'm pretty sure that doesn't happen. Well, it could happen. Well, apparently it's based on a Pulitzer Prize and Tony Award winning play. Uh, Nicole Kidman is in it, and that one lady is in it. The one who was in Twister? Who played Twister? Well, my point is it's like they won an Oscar. Yeah, Nicole, Nicole Kidman is in it. Oscar plays. That old lady who played Twister is in it. Give me an Oscar. The title is lifted from Lewis Carroll. Oscar! Give it to me! This has been your uh, insane co-host. Anyways. <laughs> okay. Well, what, what, what do Insanity. you think about Rabbit Hole? Do you think it'll actually be good or will it just be a terrible, um, annoying drama? Uh, with Aaron Eckert yelling. All uh, the you know... I really don't know. I mean, you can't really judge a movie by its trailer alone. Trailers always lie. Right. Like Tangled. Yeah. But, you know, just because Nicole Kidman is, is in it doesn't mean it'll be a good movie. So, uh, I don't know. I'll give this two circles. What's your system, anyway? I really don't have one. I'll just make it up as I go. Okay. So deal with it. All right, well, fine, yeah. Sunglasses. <laughs> so... <laughs> anyway. The next one is Beastly. Beastly? It's some stupid reimagining of Beauty and the Beast, but with not without a beast. Sounds like a load of horse shit to me. It looks like a load of horse shit. Literally or figuratively? Both. Oh, that's just great. I'm pretty sure I got vertigo from watching the trailer. Yeah, it's just like, oh, jeez. It's like, dude, hold on a second. My eyes... I, uh, my eyes can't refresh that fast. Yeah. It's like, dude, dude, that's like, um, jeez, I can't remember that Foxtrot comic that told you how many... It's, it's like, like 1 60th of a second, I yeah, think. Yeah, and it's like, dude, that's more than 1 60th of a second. Slow down. Am I getting... My head's starting to hurt. Yeah. Ugh. Just the question is, what does this trailer actually tell us about the movie? Probably absolutely nothing. Or absolutely everything. Just like all trailers do. Yes. Either it's everything or nothing. Yeah. One glen backhead. <laughs> Another thing is, this guy isn't that ugly. Like, you know, he's not, he's just like, it looks like he just like, like, crashed into a tattoo parlor. Or something. <laughs> Yeah. He should be, he, he's not, uh, make, this is ugly. Yeah. If you real, if you want something ugly, this is what you should go for, people. Not, like, not tattoo parlor explosion. Yeah, he should look like an alien from outer space, not... That got run through a blender. Yeah, exactly. Anyways. So, yeah, one Glenn Beckhead. Yeah, one Glenn Beckhead, I'd say. Okay. Next. The Beaver. Five Pope Heads. All right. Is that bad or good? What do you think? Good. No! <laughs> so you don't like the Pope? You dingus, no! <laughs> he he's ripping off my luck! 
<laughs> Afraid? <laughs> okay, we're gonna get a lot of angry letters. Screw them. Assuming that we have any viewers. Yeah, email your e email your complaints at this link right here. <laughs> Nothing's gonna show up. <laughs> no, <laughs> except for go go screw yourself at woohoo.com or something. Okay, well, thank you for joining us for our review of the Beaver. <laughs> anyway, um, ah. so I guess we should move on. Yeah. Nothing to say about the Beaver. Yeah, just why? Transformers 3, Dark of the Moon. Okay. This might be good. Yeah. For one reason, Megan Fox isn't in it. Excellent. Yes, because apparently they fired her. Why? Why do you think? She's a heinous bitch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. You know what's funny is that I haven't seen much mm -hmm. press or anything about her recently. It's like everyone's... It's like she got her 15 minutes of fame. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. She's gone. We're gone. We're done now. Yeah, Let's go focus on Nicole Kidman again. Yeah. and Someone with talent. Yeah, instead of someone who just really uses her breasts as talent. And they're not even real. Moving on! Moving on! So, Transformers 3 will probably be pretty uh, good because it, yeah. like, it looks like it'll be completely separate from the other ones. And it'll yeah, be like it seems a, almost like sort of like a little reboot. Sort of, like a miniature reboot. Yeah, instead of whereas the usual reboot is sort of a nuclear explosion of yeah. the whole thing. But, you know, this is a little bit more... Uh, sort of... Well, what's the word I'm looking for? Good. Yeah, I give that... <laughs> uh, I say that's a four star. Alright. Or four... Whatever. Four balls. Four balls? Four dragon balls. Right. Anyways. <laughs> um, uh, I guess we can talk about Limitless. 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 Mmm, Limitless. What the hell is Limitless about? Okay, well, the plot is there's this guy, he's a writer, and he has writing block out the wazoo. Okay. And so he's like, man, I can't write worth a damn. Uh -huh. I can't think about how to write this book. And so his friend is like, hey, man. You know how they say you can only access 20% of your brain? Oh, God. How about you take this drug and you can access all of it, man? It'll be awesome, man. Like, Fathers for Algernon or something, man. <sighs> and so the guy takes it and he becomes, like, he can speak Italian all of a sudden. And he writes his book in four days and Robert De Niro is like, Hey, I want to give you money. Okay. And then he starts getting paranoid and um, his life goes, to goes shit. through withdrawal or some dumb thing. Right. And I'm like... Yeah, that you can only use 10% of your brain thing, that's a myth. Yeah. But then again, they did say you can only access 20%, but still. Yeah, it's... It's a bloat of malarkey. Yeah, and uh, it's like... It just seems like it's... Okay, basically you could just, like, take a vacuum cleaner to this. You know, it's just like... You could get, you could you, you could take a vacuum cleaner to this movie, suck everything out of it, and you'd be left with flowers for Algernon. Yeah, it's really. It's like, basically it. They just basically took the flowers from Ad Algernon and re re reboxed it. Yeah, it's the same much. chocolate, it's just a different cover. Yeah. Yeah. Once the yeah 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 yeah. Right. Anything else? Well. I, well, what kind of rating should we give that movie? It doesn't uh, seem... Oh. No, 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 they may be recycling um, from Faust for Algernon, but it sort of sounds vaguely... Actually, no. No, it doesn't. I give it zero. <laughs> yeah, zero, zero. It sucks jello. Right. Is that it? Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, well, good. Thank you for joining us on this episode of My God, This Sucks. I'm gonna find something else better to do with my time. Yeah, so am I. Yeah! <laughs> Hi. Sorry I'm late. I'm really late, aren't I? Yeah, you just missed it. We just finished. Oh, darn. I'm sorry. I was looking for a bed, but I got lost in the Beyond section. Why were you looking for beds in the Beyond section? Really? Not know. in the bed section? I just, I... Yeah, there weren't any beds in the bed section for some strange reason. What were in the bed sec? What was in the bed section? Mugs. Mugs. And magnets for some reason. Were there magnet mugs? No, they were just magnets and mugs. Well, separate. That's lame. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. I'm done. So, anyways, so uh, what I miss? Uh, well, we talked about Limitless and how it's a ripoff of Flash oh. for Algernon. Oh, hopefully, I don't. Uh, 
What do you want, Red Undies? Have you seen my arm? No. Can't say I have. Okay. I'm the floating head of doom. You're the floating Hercules of doom. You're gonna punch me, aren't you? You missed, bitch! Damn! I never miss! Oh! Ow! That time I didn't. Well, anyways, um, I might as well close this episode since it's running over the time, so... Turn off the camera.